from what you've seen of Georgia, what has stood out about them? Um, they have a talented offense, offensive front, good uh, running back, great running backs, uh, great quarterback and wide receiver. So they got dual threats across the whole board. Yesterday, Coach Saban said it, their team reminds him a lot of you guys. Mm -hmm. How is that helpful that you guys have practiced against Derrick Henry, Kenyon Drake, Ken, Drake, those types of players daily? Um, it helps us a lot because I feel like it gives us a slight advantage because we already know how it is going against a physical offensive line, physical backs who aren't going to back down and stuff like that. So I feel like it's going to give us a slight advantage in the game. It's a homecoming for you, Go, going back home, state yeah. of Georgia. What's, uh, what's this like? I'm excited because, you know, I grew up a UGA fan and I always wanted to play in the stadium. So going back to play in Sanford Stadium is like pretty exciting for me and my family. Growing up as a fan of UGA, but now you're going in to try to beat you at UGA. I mean, yeah. is, that, is that a weird feeling? Uh, not necessarily, because you know, I bought into the program when I got here and everything. So it's just like another football game, but it just at the field I always dreamed of playing at. You got a lot of guys from Henry County that went to UGA. Um, I don't think so. What's it like to be the underdog this week? A title that nobody who's currently on the roster has had to experience while at Alabama. Um. It just feels like another game. I like being, I prefer being an underdog just from my high school experience and stuff like that and the past seasons we had in some games. Um, I think it's pretty exciting to go and be, going into a game like this, being an underdog just makes you more excited for the game. When um, all your games so far, you know, y'all have kind of had to deal with the crowd noise because mm -hmm. the other team's been on offense. Does it help that, that you'll be kind of in that silence when you're trying to figure out a way to stop somebody like Nick Chubb or Grayson Lambert. Does that help that you're able to communicate better? Yeah, I feel like it helped uh, for us communicate better because, you know, uh, the crowd noise could affect us getting calls and signals like when they're motioning and stuff like that. So I feel like it's going to help us a lot in stopping their run game and pass game and affecting the quarterback a lot more. Do you feel like it's a slight advantage going up against a uh, pro-style offense like Georgia has as opposed to more of these uh, – spread offenses you're seeing more and more of in college football? Uh, I would say so because I feel like I prefer going against a pro-style offense just because they're just the old school way of playing offense and going playing defense against it just the most fun way you can play. You don't have to worry about getting super tired and stuff like that. You just go out there and have fun and play your best. Since you grew up a UGA fan, for the fans that are making the trip, what's the one thing they need to do in Athens? Uh, from, I guess, like my family, I guess, uh, wear Alabama stuff and don't go back and wear UGA stuff against us. <laughs> Yesterday, the players were telling us that you guys had a players only meeting last week. Mm -hmm. Who kind of was behind that and what was determined in that meeting? Um, it was pretty much a leadership, uh, pretty much all the leaders on the offense and defense. And we were pretty much saying that we have to make our identity for ourselves and st step up and we have to play better than we did against Ole Miss and change the season around and just take one game at a time. What do you think it says when the players come together and kind of do this without having the coaching staff there? Um, I feel like it brings us together as a team and more of a family in such a way and we don't have to depend on the coaches to be like oh we need to do this and we could just step up and do it ourselves and then the coaches just focus on coaching us up and making us better on the field. Does that give you more accountability to each other on the field when, when you're stepping up and taking that role? Uh, yeah, so like when you feel some, see somebody messing up on like a play or a stern or something or bad techniques and they start to build bad habits, you'll just step up and try to correct them or they correct you sometimes. It's just, I feel like it's helping us as a whole unit as a team. Can I get a comment about Dylan Lee and what it's like working with him every day? Yeah. Um, Dylan, he's a, he brings a lot of energy to the defense. Um, he, like when people feel down, he'll be the person to come around and get you motivated to go harder. And he always, he always pushes himself, which makes you want to push yourself even more.